the center field. Bo Jackson going over. Remember, he played Kinkin. football one day, he played baseball the same night. Deion Sanders blazing around second. It's like our gravity doesn't govern him. And they're waving him home. The throw to the plate gets on by. Sanders flies over. And now he is safe at home. He's running at a different speed. He's jumping at a different speed. He's covering at a different speed. I created this image, this thing that you could imagine. You could love him or hate him, but he was proud. Kicked off by prime time. Deion Prime Tom Sanders. I mean, just, just think about that word right there. Prime time. That means you don't even get you don't even get to work in daylight hours because it's insulting <laughs> that you would be on in the morning. Hey, there, run! It's on at the 30 yard line. What Deion Sanders appeal should be is remarkable, startling athletic ability. Right, baby. Deion scores the touchdown. <laughs> oh, because he's that great. He's that legit. He is the greatest corner in NFL history. Period. And this one is on the ground and picked up by a lineman at the 27. Here's a lateral and another lateral, a triple lateral. Deion you talk Sanders. talk about Michael Irvin. Deion Sanders covered him. You talk about Jerry Rice. Deion Sanders covered him. He's on his way for a touchdown. Neon Deion saluting as he goes. Wouldn't you know he'd find a way. Deion Sanders, to me, are the most transcendent athletes on football in my career. If your dream ain't bigger than you, there's a problem. Deion Sanders was a lockdown corner. He played wide receiver with a punt returner that was great, the kick returner that was great, and he would have won MVP had the Atlanta Braves won the World Series. This dream, this promise, came. The dog intercepted. I, I believe Dion was the greatest all-around athlete I ever saw up close. This game taught me how to get up. It taught me how to live and play with pain. This game. Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. Picked it up. One man missed him. Another man missed him. Now he's going wide off to the right. Yet he's got 54 career interceptions. It would have been more, but they spent years, not games, years ignoring his side of the My field. My God, Deion Sanders is going to score. Deion Sanders' five-year run in Atlanta came to an end in 1994. Deion Sanders is now a 49er. It was like parachuting a rock star into that entire team. Deion changed the vibe of the 49ers. He had 23 touchdowns in six different ways. This dude is beyond legit. Live at Candlestick Park in San Francisco, the NFC Championship game between the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco. After 49ers. losing two times in a row now to the Cowboys in the championship game, we need to help. Deion Sanders was the biggest reason that San Francisco won a Super Bowl over the Dallas Cowboys. On the spot, Aikman, third and again. He is beyond exceptional. He is beyond hold. I actually think there should be a separate category for people like him, other than the Hall of Fame. It should be the Hall of Fame and then the Hall of Fame. I don't know. This game taught me so much about people. It taught me so much about timing. It taught me so much about focus, dedication, submitting oneself, and sacrifices. This game, this game, this game. Ah! Ah! He then turned right around and became the biggest reason that Dallas beat them the next year in 95. Sanders has just turned in a big play. Remember, he played football one day, he played baseball the same night. Becoming the first person ever to hit a major league home run and then scored an NFL touchdown in the same week. Look good, look good, play good, play good, play good, play good, live good, live good. You know, he's good, that good. To the five, oh, oh, the what a play. Here he goes, here he goes. I created this image, this thing that you could imagine. You could love him or hate him, but he was proud. Time. Time, time is back. And he wants music, he wanted him to play a record when he returns punt. He wanted his own music for punt. But I'm telling you. This is prime time that we're talking about here. Prime time.
My gosh.